Division one, four, go. Under certain conditions, rechargeable and lithium ion batteries can be fire hazards. And with the growing popularity of e-bikes and scooters, we're seeing an increase in the number of accidental fires across the country. I'm Lieutenant Eric Devereaux, Safety and Medical Officer with West Metro Fire Rescue. The fires that occur are commonly due to improper charging, physical damage, or manufacturing defects. The hazard is when they are charged and stored inside apartments or homes, especially near exits. Rechargeable and lithium ion batteries store a large amount of energy and pose a threat if not used properly. They can overheat, catch fire, or even explode. Be safe by only purchasing e-bikes and scooters that are listed by a qualified testing laboratory. You might be familiar with the UL symbol, which you can find on thousands of products. Also, follow the manufacturer's instructions for charging and storage. And always use the manufacturer's cord and power adapter made specifically for the bike or scooter. Be sure to store batteries away from anything flammable, and don't charge them near doors or exits. In case of a fire, you need to be able to escape. And once batteries are fully charged, remove them from the charger. Make sure to do this if you're planning on being away from home. Don't leave the batteries and charger plugged in while you're gone. Finally, if a battery overheats or you notice an odor, change in shape or color, leaking or odd noises, stop using it immediately. Here at West Metro, we have an e-bike that we use on backcountry rescues to quickly get a firefighter to a patient who may be several miles up a trail. The bike's been a great tool, but before we put it to work, we trained firefighters on proper storage and use. If you have an e-bike or scooter, the least you should do is to take a look at the operating manual and follow the recommendations. Spending just a little time can keep your home and your family safe. For more information on home safety, visit westmetrofire.org.